So today, we're gonna grab some canned garbanzo beans, also known as chickpeas, truly one of the most basic pantry staples out there. And we're gonna create one of the most extraordinary dishes that hail from Spain, but more specifically, from the beautiful region of Catalonia. We're talking garbanzos a la catalana. Now the beauty of this recipe, besides the fact that it's so easy to make, is that it's got a ton of flavors to it, and it's all done in about 40 minutes, but it feels like it's been simmering for hours, folks. Like I always tell you, this is the kind of food you should be eating, because it's feel-good food, that's heart healthy, and it's gonna fill your body with so much goodness. Let's begin by heating a large fry pan with a medium heat and adding in about three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 45 milliliters. After about one minute, I'm gonna add in eight cloves of garlic with the skins removed and 12 blanched almonds. And we'll mix the almonds and garlic around. That way they're all coated in that olive oil. And we're gonna go for about two to three minutes here or until the ingredients are lightly sauteed. After about three minutes and the almonds and the garlic are lightly sauteed, I'm gonna remove them from the pan, transfer them into a mortar, and then set them aside. Now using the same pan with the same heat, I'm gonna add in one medium-sized onion that I finely chopped. And we'll mix the onion around, that way it's coated in that olive oil. And once again, we're gonna go for about two to three minutes here or until the onion is lightly sauteed. After about three minutes and the onion is lightly sauteed and translucent, I'm gonna add in two cups of tomato sauce, which is about 450 grams. And we'll give it a mix and then simmer the tomato sauce for about 10 minutes. That way it can slightly thicken up. As always, the tomato sauce that I'm using, I made by finely grating fresh tomatoes, but you can substitute it for half the amount of canned tomato sauce or even passata. While the tomato sauce is simmering, let's move back to the mortar with the almonds and garlic. I'm gonna pinch in a quarter teaspoon of saffron threads, which is 0.17 grams. As always, the saffron I'm using is from Golden Saffron. You'll find a link where you can get some in the description box below. We'll also add in two tablespoons of finely chopped fresh parsley, which is about eight grams, and a kiss of sea salt. And using a pestle, we'll pound down on the ingredients until we form a paste. And let me tell you, you can also use a food processor for this step. And we'll also drain two cans of garbanzo beans into a colander and rinse them under some cold running water. Now the size of each can is 15 and a half ounces, which is 440 grams or about one and a half cups of cooked garbanzo beans. All right, let's move back to our tomato sauce. It's been simmering for about 10 minutes, and as you can see, it's slightly thickened up. For the next step, I'm gonna add in the drained garbanzo beans, our almond and garlic mixture, and we'll season with sea salt and a generous portion of freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a mix, that way everything's evenly mixed together. And remember to be gentle here, otherwise you can easily break those garbanzo beans apart. Then we'll add in two cups of vegetable broth, which is 480 milliliters. Traditionally, beef broth is the one that's used here, but you can go either way, or you can even use chicken broth if you like. Then we'll turn up the heat to a high heat, and we'll give it a mix and bring the broth to a boil. Once the broth comes to a boil, I'm gonna place a lid on the pan and we'll lower the fire to a low medium heat and we're gonna simmer it for about 10 minutes. This is enough time for all the flavors to develop and for those garbanzo beans to have an incredible melt in your mouth texture. After about 10 minutes, this dish is ready to go. I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat Transfer some of the mixture into a serving dish. And we'll garnish it with some fresh parsley. Check it out, our garbanzos a la catalana are done. A beautiful garbanzo bean dish from the region of Catalonia. Easy to make, incredible aromas coming out of it. And once again, the kind of food that's gonna fill your body with so much goodness. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. For those of you that follow Spain on a fork, you know how much I love garbanzo beans. So this dish I can't wait to try. Here we go. 
absolutely delicious. Like seriously, look how beautiful this turned out. You know, we've done so many different garbanzo bean dishes here on Spain on a Fork, AKA chickpeas, and each one has their own special element to take it to the next level. And this one right here sits up there with the best of them because it's got so many great flavors where it feels like it's been simmering for hours, but you saw it came together in about 40 minutes. And also I forgot to mention, if you're not using fresh tomatoes like I am and using canned tomato sauce, make sure to add a little pinch of sugar in there to cut the acid from the tomatoes, folks. Easy to make, beautiful Spanish flavors in my opinion, one of the best dishes that hail from Spain. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a a couple of my patrons, Sam Cohen, Kent Anderson, Grace Suarez, Amy Martinez, and Nancy T. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Leave me a comment below. And as always, don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. That way our Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego. Viva Catalunya. Qué plato más bueno. Hasta luego.